It's a little bit what we experienced in the world of cinema 15, 20 years ago when you know, the festival started to grow and together with the festival, the markets and training workshops for festival started to happen. Well, now this is happening now in the serious world. It feels really good. Uh, my name is Jussi Rantamäki. I'm a producer based in Helsinki, Finland. I'm a owner of Aamu Film Company. I produced films like Compartment Number no. 6, which won the Grand Prix in Cannes two years ago. Now I'm here developing my first TV series. I'm Maida Biller. I'm here as a screenwriter and a director. I am Beatrice Seyer. I am also a writer and director of the series Amigas. My name is Cesar Diaz and I am uh, the writer of uh, The Invisible Inc. Hello, my name is Fernando Epstein. I'm producer and writer of The Invisible Inc. It's a lab for feature film directors and producers who are venturing into the world of TV series. The Series Maker program has been a workshop, like two workshops online, happening between November and January. Uh, where we also develop through mentors a uh, pitch deck to present and to submit to the jury. Um, the award that we won, which is one of the first awards, consists of 50,000 euros uh, and, a, and, a, and a development contract with Beta Group to co-develop the Bible and the series in order to be able to hopefully next year come to the co-production pitching and uh, be part of it and try to find the, the partners to produce the series. And it was really nice to participate of these four months of mentoring and having great master classes and our project grew a lot in this. That will give us the chance or the opportunity to develop the series, uh, find the right partners, uh, time to writing, time to research. It means uh, six months of my rent and my <laughs> bills, <laughs> which makes me have time to actually work more and develop the, the pilot and all of things that we need, more or less. It's not so much about the money, but about the visibility that the, the award give us. That's a good, uh, a good thing to have with us. And also shows that the international audience wants to see those stories from Brazil and wants to see how it is for women in Brazil. It's great for us to know that whatever we are facing there, also other women care about that and talks to a larger audience, not only our country. And I hope it talks to men too. Yes, me too. Yeah, it was really nice to be in the program. I mean, from 170 projects from all over the world, from 54 countries, we were one of the 10 selected to go through the mentoring program really, really high levels of mentors. So we were just like, oh my God, is this this person? Let me Google check it. Yeah, that's the guy who created this and created that. So it's really, really nice to be together with such experts. It's, um, as I said, a Finnish novel, a bestseller that we're adapting to a TV series. It's a story about Vilia, uh, a woman in late 30s and her father has just died. And while cleaning her father's apartment, she finds this pack of love letters, secret love letters sent by a secret lover in the 90s in, um, in East Berlin when the family was living there. And when William reads these letters, she realizes that it's uh, not only like love for her father, that she is also in the letters as a, as a small child, that the, this woman called Margot, a secret name, uh, loved her like a mother but she doesn't recall. She decides to find this Margot, who might be the only person who ever loved her. It's a series about five friends. They are 40 years old. They were friends when they were teenagers um, and they broke up. They had a very traumatic experience in the past and, uh, and now they, need, uh, they get together again and they need to face the past and the experience, the traumatic experience they had. We started this series during the pandemic in 2020 when we discovered that uh, she was going through a divorce, I have been gone to a divorce and we discovered the lawyers of our ex-partners were the same and we started sharing these histories that we were going through and uh, we decided to start writing about all those experiences we had and also we start talking about things that we have lived in the past that we didn't have maturity and consciousness 
to know what was happening. So it's a series about women after the Me Too movements and how we can now look at the things that we have been gone through and also our current relationship with those glasses that we didn't have before. It's a series about a former uh, gorilla fighter uh, from Uruguay uh, that's supposed to be dead, but he lives in, in, in Belgium. And one day uh, his former torturer uh, knocks on the door and threats him to kill his family, his Belgian family, because he wants a, a hidden uh, gold lot that uh, it's hiding in, in Uruguay. So he has to go back to his country and then confront his past, uh, comp confront his former um, guerrilla fighters that thinks that he is dead, and also confront his uh, family because he left a the family there, a daughter and, and a wife. I think the characters are very well uh, developed and they are very universal. They are very, very particular, but at the same time, they touch everyone. So I think that's uh, the reason they are powerful. And I think it connects with women from all over the globe. I think we, we, we take the, the, the workshop very seriously, and then we work a lot. And the mentors really push us to get the best that we can of, with this story. And then I think the story grows a lot. Well, we got like a, a jury note that was su super nice, but I think it's uh, um, the director is super talented and well known, and everyone knows that he can deliver something uh, uh, emotional and realistic. I've produced only films before this, so for me it feels like you're being in Cannes or Berlin 15 years ago when I didn't know anybody. I was surprised of the size of the event. I have the impression that the whole city is just changing uh, during the days and then it's just focused and serious there actually.